just wanted to do a review of the CVT uh, rooftop tent, the Mount Hood. Um, love it. Uh, it's a great unit. Um, there's a couple flaws that I, I think that uh, hopefully they can fix. Um, just some, some stuff that I'll talk about. Uh, I ended up putting uh, a solar panel up on top here. And uh, that's something that I really wanted to do with a hard shell. We do camping quite a bit and go off grid for, you know, multiple days in a row. So I just ran the wiring down into my cap, uh, into the battery. But I uh, really love the, um, the construction, especially how dark it is. I'll show you some video of, you know, how dark it it's gets, so even though it's dark. full daylight right now. So um, like this out here right best now. suggestion I could say for um storage we'll talk about that maybe too in a minute but the best suggestion i would say is keep these windows open i just keep them wide open i don't even keep the screens there it shuts and, and shuts down a lot better um but uh yeah closed it's about six and a half inches tall uh these struts are super powerful um Got some of the same stuff that you know a lot of tents have. Sorry, it's dirty in here. We've been using it lately, but it's got a three-inch, roughly three-inch uh, foam mattress. Pretty comfortable. We actually throw a, a sleeping bag and lay it out on top to add a little bit more cushioning and, and um, some extra uh, protection from the the cold coming from underneath. It's got um, a, one of these kind of things. Uh, we put some some uh you know some of the bags in there we don't really use the bags too much um actually we tie i tie them and just hang them from the from the ladder for our shoes but uh it's got a nice fiberglass solid thing so you can face the this side against the wind and it'll protect the wind uh pretty darn well um it's got some pockets here on the side this one i don't know if it's a pocket it goes all the way down and these are two little pockets um then it's got a little vent hole here at the top, which is the only light coming in uh, at all when you shut it. There's another vent hole over there. There's a vent hole on the other side. Uh, some pockets on the sides over here on each side. Plenty of storage. You can get things off the off the, the cushion. Um, here, let me get all the way in here for a second. And what I would say, what's nice is it looks like you can actually, this is a zipper. So if you had any issues with this, you could just un zip this and send it in um cvt customer service has been awesome uh they sent me these these new latches they're the new version gives you a lot more leverage uh the old latches uh, actually one of them broke and then the other one um and they were super hard to shut i mean i i gave uh i made some video uh about that on our last trip to alabama hills here and uh it uh just was a pain in the butt and it took two people and I had to, you had to yank down on the uh, on the top to get the pressure and then to unlatch it. And uh, it was just kind of, I don't know, it wasn't fun. So, and that's what, that was to undo it and to, to close it. So now it's like butter. Um, but the only thing I've had an issue with a little bit is these, uh, I think they're made out of aluminum. These, these uh, little things where you stick your tent poles in. Mine have stripped out. Um, and I, I think it's just from the wind. I think we just had some wind uh, a couple times we've been camping. We've only been, we only probably took this tent out five, six, seven times, somewhere in there. And uh, already we got, it's stripped out, which means it's not extending this, this awning. This one's a little better, but that one's kind of been the same thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to actually uh, talk to CVT and see if we can, you know, maybe swap those out because uh, we love the tent. Uh, this is actually only my second time sleeping in it tonight because I let my family sleep in here my wife and my two little um, Little girls. Uh, I usually sleep in the bed of the, in the back seat of the truck So this will be kind of a good experience for me just to sleep alone and and uh, I don't get a chance to do that very much um, But love the tent the zippers are high quality. I uh, love the way that they sound the way they feel i mean it's just got a got a really solid sounding you know it's nice they got the the vents i'm sorry the the um the net, uh bug netting is on the inside so you take the outside and you roll it up uh that's what we do 
and uh, it makes it a little bit easier to get in and out. But uh, all in all, love the tent. Um, like I said, the only issue we had was the, the tent stakes or the where you put it in there going down backwards. Um, the only thing we had is, you know, these things were a problem and uh, we'll, we'll get those fixed out. And then the latches was the only other issue. But uh, as I'll show you in some of the video tomorrow, uh, when I close it up, I will, um, I'll show you how easy it is now. So it's awesome. So having a hard shell, this is our first rooftop tent. We ground tented it for years. And uh, we just decided instead of, you know, taking 30 minutes or whatever to set up the tent and, and the tarp and staking it down and, and whatnot, we, we were kind of going from site to site, you know, each day sometimes or staying for a, a day or two. But it's nice, you can just open it, shut it. If you want to go and explore, it takes like maybe a minute to shut the tent. Um, so it's super easy. But uh, anyways, we, we decided to go with the, go with the rooftop tent. We love it. I would highly recommend it. Uh, I would I, I personally like the hard shells. They don't uh, they're much more slim line. I, I, I actually live in a um, condominium community. So the the garages are really low. So which makes this if, in fact, if I had even an eye camper hard shell, it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit in, in the, in the uh, complex that I live in. So this kind of keeps things streamlined. Uh, I had to make sure I get I got bars that were high enough so that they would over, or I would have a little bit of clearance above my print suit here, um, because that could have been a big problem, because uh, as you probably know if you own a truck, the, the back of the truck is has a little bit, uh, some independent movement than the cab. So uh, I know some people you know, on YouTube had some issues with having a uh, uh, rack that was at the same height and it laid on both of them. So that's one thing that I stressed out about because I didn't want to buy a three thousand dollar tent, and then uh, and then not it wouldn't work on my on my truck. So, anyways, here let me shut this. Just maybe take a good look at it. But like I said, beautiful tent, looks good, works great, super easy setup. Probably thirty seconds to open, probably a minute to close. Um, I just yeah, just loving it. So, anyways, uh. If you have any questions about it i know lots of people are you know enjoying the same tent and and uh you know um yeah i don't anyways thumbs up go get it if you have any questions let me know okay